Hello and welcome to all future CSS pros out there. Learning and understanding how combining selectors work can be quite confusing. So in today's video, we are going to break down the four most important CSS combinators and explain them based on something that we understand. Family. To be more clear, relations between family members. In order to understand this video, you should have basic HTML and CSS knowledge. But let's start with clearing the term combinators. What are they and when do we need them? A combinator is something that explains the relationship between CSS selectors. Like for example, you are the child of your parents and at the same time you are the grandchild of your grandparents. Easy, right? The same goes for combinators and we want to focus on four major combinators in this video. Descendant selectors, child selectors, general sibling selectors and adjacent sibling selectors. But why are they called selectors in this list? That's because their function is to combine simple selectors. But as a whole, they are just selectors as well. Just a bit more complicated ones. So now we've been talking a lot about selectors, which we hope you already know and understand. But let us just recall the four most important selectors. We have the universal selectors, element selectors, class selectors and ID selectors. For our example, we will concentrate on element selectors. But of course, everything we explain also works for the other selectors as well. Should you need an update on selectors, we have linked you a helpful video. So now that most parts should be clear, let's start with our first combinator. The descendant selector. The descendant selector is simply represented by a space. As the name already hints, it selects all descendants of a certain type. So as an example, you could use diff space p. And we want to change the color of our selection to green. Looking at our family tree, this means that first we search for all persons called diff and then select everyone who is called p and is a child, grandchild, great-grandchild and so on. Now, per our example, all those selected will turn green. Now let's see this behavior on an example code as well. The color attribute changes the text color of all paragraphs which are descendants of a diff. Paragraphs which are not related in that way do not change. Let's move on to our second combinator, the child selector. Again, the name gives a nice hint about the behavior. This selector is represented by the greater than sign. It is quite similar to the first combinator, the descendant combinator. But instead of selecting all descendants of a certain type, it only works on the children. So as an example, you could use diff greater than p. And again, we want to change the color of the selection to green. Looking at our family tree, this means that first we search for all persons called diff and then select everyone who is called P and a child of them. In our example, that means that three persons will now turn green. The same thing happens with the CSS code. The text color of all paragraphs which are children of a diff change to green. Paragraphs which are not children, even if they're grandchildren, will stay the same. The third combinator we want to teach you today is the general sibling selector, which is represented by a tilde. So as an example, we use diff tilde p and want to set the color to green. This selector works on all persons on the same level, which makes them siblings in a family tree. So all persons called p, which are siblings to a person called diff, get the color attribute green assigned. In our example, that affects two persons. And now let's see what happens in the CSS code. The text color of all paragraphs, which are siblings of a diff, changes to green. Other relatives and siblings, which are not paragraphs, are not touched. The fourth and last combinator for today is called adjacent sibling selector. 
It is indeed, as the name might already suggest, similar to the general sibling selector. In other languages, it could also be translated as neighbor selector, which also gives a hint about its effect. The adjacent sibling selector is shown as a plus sign in CSS. Therefore, our example looks like the following, diff plus p. And we want to change the color of the selection to green. As already mentioned, this is basically a special form of the general sibling selector, because it only selects one sibling, and only if it is literally the next in line. Adjacent means immediately following, so the siblings really have to be next to each other. In our code example, this affects only the text color of one element. If we would, for example, put a span between the two siblings, the combinator would no longer be active, because now they are not immediate siblings. To sum up what we've learned today, if you want to select all children, grandchildren and even great-grandchildren of a node, you can use the descendant selector. If you need only the children, use the child selector. If you want to select nodes on the same level, you can either use the general sibling selector for all sibling nodes or the adjacent sibling selector if you only need immediately following siblings. We hope all this information was helpful and encourage you to rewatch the video if necessary. If you want to skip to certain combinators, we've added a list in the description. We've also added some helpful videos and websites for you. Thanks for watching 